And then there's another profound element here. Let's just zero in on this one while we're at it. When a child begins to read, now the word read here, it, um, to, if we take likro, to read, if we take it in the sense of, of reading the, the, the Torah in a deeper sense, reading the path to God, then the reading the path to God is, is discovering the names of God. So reading is naming. And if you simply substitute naming for reading here, we get a whole deeper level of meaning. So when a person begins to name God, in other words, and a way of saying that is that each of these awareness moments is another point of view about the coming integration, which is another way of naming God, another positive quality of God. For example, if I say, I am aware of this pencil, so the pencil point of view now is another point of view about God. God is experienced by the pencil uh, from a pencil umwelt, a pencil uh, point of view. And if I want to plug into that, like Nachman Bresser says, and like the Taoists say, you've got to become the object to see the inner idea of the object. So I say, I am this pencil, and I am laying here on this uh, piece of black machinery here, listening to Franklin babble away there. Okay, we just had a Franklin as babbler, is another naming of, uh, uh, of God here. Another point of view of the situation. Okay, I had to get out of, had to identify with a pencil to suddenly see myself as a babbler. But then, then I can, go, <laughs> if I'm a babbler, I'm a babbling brook, in the sense that in the, in the prologue to Nachman of Reslav's Likotei Maran, he thinks of himself as the book, as the symbol of the dialogue between the banks and the river, and that gives me, puts, puts me back in the role of being Moses for the generation, and that's a big power trip. So, so even, see, even from the pencil, you can get all kinds of uh, wisdom here. Rachel once again speaks directly to the audience. I dreamed that everyone had found the ideal. Then I recognized that this ideal was a living person who could not restrain his laughter. In my dream, I announced to this person, My dear sir, it is absolutely outrageous that you are so joyous today. Will you ever stop laughing? Whereupon he put his arms around me and invited me to dance. Everyone else stepped back, but that did not bother us in the least. We just danced and danced and danced. child begins to read, to name, when a person begins to start doing this process of uh, inductive thinking, which is naming God, and discovering the points of view of God, one after the other, and enters the study of the Torah, of the spiritual search here, he is first taught the verse and he called to Moses. The first thing you realize is that the uh, Moses is the first thing. This is, this is a, if you want to read my essay on Genesis, and read Rashi on Genesis in the, in the, the book, in the Torah. Creation, 
God creates the whole universe the first second because he does the whole complete action the first section. And that first section is, comes back at the end of the seven days. The, the, the overall idea, the, uh, the overall idea is there at the beginning and the end. That's the completed action. And in the moment, the six days, each of those little bits of uh, the action, each one uh, comes, comes to fruition and pops up, uh, has each on its own particular time, pops up and uh, emerges from the ground of possibilities. Uh, you know, on one day this, this emerges, another day that, that thing emerges. Until at the end of the week, uh, the seven days, they all come together and back into the, 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 the actualized, complete action. So I got started with my daydream, my fantasy. First the world, then some characters living in the world. On and on, one thing led to another. As a matter of fact, it turned out that the main character, Adam, I call him, looked a lot like me. So I thought at first anyway. I even created for him a female partner. After all, the poor guy seemed kind of lonely, talking to himself half the time and to me the other half. He got to be a real nudnik, a nuisance. You know what I mean? Here I am, busy, 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 dreaming of all kinds of stuff. And this one character in the story just won't let up. I couldn't even sleep. My imagination was so busy. And on top of that, first he needs this, then he needs that. And this isn't good enough for me. And that isn't good enough for me. Rome service they want. Well, I think I'd like a garden about 10 miles long. With mango trees and kumquats and a chicken egg for young. While you're at it, if you don't mind, when you have a chance, I've got an awful craving for some pomegranates. It's very nice, it's paradise to be living at the beginning of the world. The golden age before the fall, oh, 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 and, and milk and sweet nectar flow for all. There's lots of trees, a gentle breeze, some birds, some bees, and even a few fleas. With all, I think I'd like a chandelier, a pot of gold or two. A dancing bear, a well-dressed hair, a video to view. And if you don't mind, when you catch your breath while you're on your feet, we've got an awful craving for something sweet to eat. We are so pure, so innocent, we can do no wrong. There's nothing to repent. Our Father above, give lots of love. It's all for free, it's all for me, it's all for me, it's all for me. <laughs> We can't refuse, we've nothing to lose, we do exactly as we choose. The time. It's paradise not yet lost. A world before metamorphoses, a time before change and development have begun. It's a time before evil, a time when life still is eternally good. Lilith and I can do no wrong and a merciful deity stands ready to satisfy our every desire. God formed Lilith, the first woman, just as he formed Adam, the first man, except that in my case, he used filth and impure sediment instead of dust or earth. Can you imagine the nerve? A real put down from the start. But after a while, my ego reconciled itself to these humble origins. And honestly, I do try my very best to get along with Adam here. But Lilith and I never can find peace together. She disagrees with me over just about any issue I can think of. I disagree with you? Come on, honey. What about that time I found our first fire after that frightful lightning storm? There I was minding my own business, boiling up a few chicken eggs for dinner, and you come along telling me I can't cook because it's Saturday. No, that's what it says in the Torah. You know as well as I do that the Torah was created before the world was... Oh, come off it, Jack. Adam's the name. Adam, who else can I be talking about? You and I are the only people in the whole world, unfortunately. As a matter of fact, it would be nice if somebody named Jack did come along right now for a change of pace. Somebody named Jack who is tall, dark, and very good looking. Watch your step, Lilith. Are you trying to get me jealous? You can't blame me for wishing, can you? What woman in her right mind would be satisfied with a man who insists on being on top all the time? You seem to be under the impression that I was created to be your mattress and not your mistress. Besides, let's face it, what has the likes of me to do with the likes of you anyway, Adam? Except for the fact that we are thrown together here, being we both are made from the same stuff. My earth was clean, yours was just garbage. 
again trying to lord it over me. You see, you see, there he goes again. Well, from dust to dust, what's the difference anyway? Dirt is dirt. Just get it through your thick caveman skull, Adam. I am not just some more dirt for you to walk on. I have just as much right as you do to be free, to jump around however I like, and to do my thing. Lead. So you see what happened. I can't believe it. These characters in my fantasy all of a sudden decide to come to life and live their life however they feel it. They do what they like. They eat what they like. You know what I mean. Like I have this one tree I think is kind of special. Never mind why. So I tell them, lay off. And of course from that moment it's like nothing is interesting to them in the whole world except that one tree. The fact is they want to write their own script altogether. They keep forgetting that it's my daydream, that it's my world, all of it. And what kind of a script do they write? Violence, killing, lust, all kinds of unpleasant thoughts and feelings. It's turning out to be a nightmare instead of a daydream, the whole business. Adam, you prude, you drive me crazy with all this holy, holy stuff. What are you worried about? The neighbors? Take a look around. See, there ain't no neighbors, remember? It's just you and me. And you know something? I have had it with you, Rabbi. I'm packing. Ha. Huh. Don't ha me, wise guy. You don't think I can do it, do you? Well, I've had it. I'm going to reserve me a nice room at the Red Sea where all those hip evil spirits hang out. And you know what else? I'm going to make up for lost time. I'll invite Satan and all his friends for a housewarming party this Friday night. You what? You wouldn't dare. Oh no, just watch me. Not so fast, woman. Toodaloo, sweetie. Come here, Lily. Come here, I say. Now look here, Adam, you aboriginal. Lily, don't make me lose my temper. Then, when I saw that Adam would overpower me, I uttered the ineffable name of the Lord, flew up into the air and escaped, just like I said I would. And now, I dwell in a lovely flat on the shores of the Red Sea. Here I engage in unbridled promiscuity, consorting with lascivious demons. I give birth to hundreds of demonic babies every day. And let me tell you something, it is great fun while it lasts. And so far it has lasted hundreds of years, hundreds of years! <laughs>